Alfred Lord Tennyson was one of the most popular poets in the English language and was a prominent figure of the Victorian age. He was born August 6, 1809. Poetry ran in his family as Charles Tennyson Turner and Frederick Tennyson, Alfred's two older brothers, started writing poetry in their late teens. Tennyson was educated at Trinity College in Cambridge. It was here he would become a member of the philosophical club, The Apostles, where he would first meet Arthur Hallam. Hallam was a close friend to Tennyson, but shockingly passed away in 1833. Tennyson would express his grief through some of his best poetry, including In Memoriam, The Passing of Arthur, and Ulysses. The success of his 1842 poems established him as the most popular poet of the Victorian era. Long lived like most of his family, Tennyson passed away October 6, 1892 at the age of 83. The Victorian era corresponds with the reign of Queen Victoria in England from 1837 to 1901. The period is beloved for its attention to high morals, modesty, and proper decorum as inspired by the Queen and her husband, Prince Albert. The Victorian era was also an optimistic time in which scientific and industrial invention thrived. The time frame Lord Alfred Tennyson was popular in was considered the mid-Victorian period. This period marked Britain's desire to achieve greatness and promote them as a prosperous country. Great Britain wanted more from life and they were willing to go to extraordinary feats to get there. It little profits that an idle king, by this still hearth among these barren crags, matched with an aged wife I met in Dole, unequal laws unto a savage race that hoard and sleep and feed and know not me. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to lilies. All times I have enjoyed greatly, have suffered greatly, both with those that love me and alone, on shore and when through scudding drifts the raining Hades vets the dim sea. I am become a name. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and know, cities of men, and manners, climates, councils, governments, myself not least, but honored of them all, and drunk delight of battle with my peers, far from the ringing plains of windy Troy. I am a part of all that I have met, yet all experience is an arch where through gleams that untraveled world whose margin fades forever and forever when I move. How dull it is to pause, to make an end, to rust unburnished, not to shine in use, as though to breathe were life. Life piled on life, or all too little, and of one to me little remains. But every hour is saved from that eternal silence, something more, a bringer of new things, and vile it were for some three sons, to store and hoard myself, and this gray spirit yearning in desire, to follow knowledge like a sinking star, beyond the utmost bound of human thought. This is my son, mine own Telemachus, to whom I leave the scepter in the isle, well loved of me, discerning to fulfill this labor, by slow prudence to make mild a rugged people, and through soft degrees subdued them to the useful and the good. Most blameless is he, centered in the sphere of common duties, descent not to fail, and offices of tenderness, and pay meet adoration to my household gods when I am gone. He works his work, I mine. There lies the poor. The vessel puffs her sail. There gloom the dark, broad seas. My mariners, souls that have toiled and wrought and thought with me, that ever with a frolic welcome took the thunder and the sunshine, and opposed free hearts, free forehands. You and I are old. Old age hath yet his honor and his toil. Death closes all. But something ere to end, some work of noble note, may yet be done, not unbecoming men that strove with gods. The lights twinkle from the rocks, the long day wanes, the slow moon climbs, the deep moans round with many voices. Come, my friends, tis not too late to seek a newer world. Push off, and sitting well in order smite the sounding furrows, for my purpose holds to sail beyond the sunset, and the bass of the, all the western stars, until I die. It may be that the gulfs will wash us down, 
It may be we shall touch the Happy Isles and see the great Achilles, whom we knew. Though much is taken, much abides. And though we are not now that strength in which in old days moved earth and heaven, that which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic hearts, made weak by time and fate, but strong in will. To strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. Tonight.